hi right today you're going to learn how to use the clone tool in photopea or photopea as i've heard a few people online call it these days who knows right i'm going to use the zoom tool to just zoom in on a photograph that i took i'm, partic I'm particularly proud of this photograph I used some of my children's toys to set up a little scene um, and then I got right down the floor and made this little part of the scene in focus and the rest not in focus. I think it looks pretty cool but I wanted it to look more realistic and there's a few things in the background that I think spoil it. For example, that chair, that fire pit and a bit of that house. So I'm going to use the clone tool to get rid of a few of those things. So down the side here are all your tools. The clone tool is this one. So I'll just click on it. Okay. Um, up here is where you can set some of the properties of the clone tool. You can change the size of it and you can change the hardness of it. Hardness is pretty important because sometimes you can use a, um, a tool like the clone tool and if it's 100% hardness, it will have a distinctive edge around it. So I always nudge it down a little bit. You should always have a little play around with tools to see what they can do before settling on um, exactly the one that you want. Okay, so I've got a size there. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want to get rid of this and it's quite big. So what the clone tool does is it's going to copy a portion of my image so that I can stick it somewhere else. Okay, pretty cool. Now, the way you use it is you position your clone tool on a part that you want to copy. So I'm gonna copy that bit. I'm going to press Alt and then click on my mouse. And that picks up, there you can see, that has picked up a bit of that fence panel. So now I can use that to, to paint over, if you like that fire pit but I'm not just going to dump it in any old position can you see that there's a, a, a few lines on my picked up fence panel and I want to join up those lines to where they appear on the image so I'm just going to click it like that so I'm going to click and drag but only a short distance and then click and drag and then click and drag so I'm going to do that again or I could just pick up in fact I might do alt and click to pick up a bit of the fence panel lower down just so that I'm not using the exact same part because that can start to look a bit photoshopped you may have heard that phrase before there's a few things that are wrong is wrong with this that fence panel's too wide to look realistic I need to copy this post so I'm going to position my cursor alt and click remember it's alt and click I'm going to then position it there, drag it down. Okay, and that's positioned there. All right, that's not looking too bad. I can do the same thing over here, Alt and click to try and, oops, to try and get rid of a little bit of this house. right then I think that's it for an absolute basics guide to using the clone tool that will get you started have fun